Uh, hello, this is a note about using the TI Connect Macintosh version to load the Starpilot uh, 89 software into a uh, calculator. And uh, so the first, and so the instructions are online at the Starpilot site, and I, these instructions are open here. And um, they were originally written for a Mac and t I mean for a PC, but the steps are you follow here one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to here is the same, is exactly the same. And, and so these are the, the, those processes. So I want to concentrate on what's unique to the Mac. And then so the first thing unique to the Mac is when you download, uh, when you download the product, uh, downloads, downloads, you'll get a, you'll download a file that looks like this. And when you unpack it, it'll have uh, two sections, a Mac and a PC. And for the, for the PC, just I'll mention, you can load everything you need in one file. However, for the Macintosh, we have to put in all 16 of these files. We can do it in one step, but we have to do them with, we can't use that compressed version. That's a big difference between a Mac and a PC on the TI Connect. And then here's a note, and in this note you will see where you get the version 4.1 of TI Connect for the Mac. Now at present, that's today, October 2nd, 2019, if you go online to TI Connect and download the Macintosh version, you get 4.0, and 4.0 will not work. So we have to get to 4.1, and you can get it from that link that you'll find there. Here's the other important point that applies to PC and Mac. When you install, when you install the uh, software, be sure the calculator is not plugged in. So just download the software and install it, but don't don't plug your don't have your uh, don't have the uh, calculator connected with the cable to the computer at that time. That's not a good idea. That'll confuse the installer. And drivers and so forth. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the process. And then here, then once you have it installed, now I have this. You see here, I've got a USB connector, and that's going straight to the um, straight to the computer. And so when you do these steps, second, quit, enter, clear. Let me just show you that second. That's that one. Uh, second, uh, quit, uh, enter and clear that's that step it didn't do anything because there was nothing going on and then the next step is where you totally delete the memory of the calculator and you have to do that and that is just a second and then memory memory here memory and then f1 up here f1 and then three the number three and then enter enter and then that's that's removed all the memory now then the next thing you have to do and this is the same mac or pc we want to get rid of this 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 view that we're looking at right here is called the uh, app app desktop we want to get rid of it now you can just press it's highlighted to go to home by just pressing enter we would go to home but we want to get rid of this completely because it just interferes with this process here so you do this step here it says for these two calculators so you press mode mode and then you press f3 and then arrow down until you get to the this guy the app desktop then you go over to that then you go up to off now you go enter and enter and so that we've got rid of the desktop now we're ready to go with the um, with the uh, TI connect so we're going to open up TI connect we go to device explorer and now we first want to double check that we're connected so let's do anything like um, like a view device device uh, content let's say that so let's just see if we're connected properly that's opening up the device explorer piece of software and it's searching for the devices and here it found the calculator and here's what's on it now and so that that's what a clean calculator looks like with no software whatsoever and we're going to see in a minute what it looks like uh, when we load the software so next with this device explorer I would say the easiest is you go up here to the top file send file to selected device send okay now you're gonna go here to uh, 
let's see downloads here here's what you're going to get when you unzip the file we looked at this before so now you go to the Macintosh and these are the files we want I'm selecting one then I'm go to the bottom and put the shift key down I select them all so I got all 16 now I send to the device and it's working see one operation in process the wheels are spinning something's happening here now so then let's uh, do we see anything on the calculator itself Re what's that say received something I don't know if it's done yet I, it's still spinning its wheels so I don't think it's done yet so let's let it load all of those and um, maybe it's done I uh, I'm new to this Mac 4.1 it just came out and uh, let me see what can we see here received main USB received main and that I don't think they're loaded yet let's go up here device yeah Well, I'll pause the video so you don't take up your time here watching this thing spin its wheels. Pause video. Well, I'm going to give up. I think it's actually done. It said it was received. So I'm going over here now to the calculator. And I've already done one of the steps here. Oh, let me get the calculator in view again. And so I, I did one step. So you do second and then var link. No, went clear, clear, clear. Second, quick, clear. Okay, second, quick, clear. Second, and then var link. Okay. Now, th th that interruption was because I had done something in between while I was on pause. But anyway, look at this thing. It's still spinning its wheels over here, but I think we're underway working here. So you do second var link, and then you tab down here till you get to setup, and you hit enter. Okay, now you see this setup. Now you got to close that with a right hand bracket. That's this one right here. So you hit that. Then you hit enter. Now, what that's going to do is unarchive, unarchive all the files. Because what we uploaded was, um, what we uploaded was um, compressed files. So it's loading all those files. And that's what it looks like. And then. Uh, Okay, so that's that. Okay, so more, hit more. And then that's a star pilot. Now it should ask me, okay. Busy. Okay, there's a key. It wants a key. Now that key, is you get it when you buy the software, and I tape it on here. That's 860. Mine is 867. 867. It could be up to five digits and then enter and there's the star pilot that's running fine now and look at this guy over here this TI connect still spinning its wheels so we don't need it so anyway that's that's the process and that's done and so let me say what I have found on this first of all the, the Macintosh version is a little bit clunky even the new 4.1 is clunky so if you can do have a PC option I would use that if it somehow can't find it when you go here and say like right now if I say um, view a screenshot let's see if it'll see look the device snapshot could not be received perhaps the device is busy you know something oh it's got to be on the home screen it's not on the home screen well anyway so uh, if you can't find it if this program can't find it then what I found I had to do and there's no way around it I had to just reboot the computer and I reboot the computer and then it finds it and it works so that's the process if you have only a Mac to use you can use the Mac TI connect 4.1 and then there's a process for doing it